Hi. سلام بچه ها کلایب امشب ما با استاد قولی زاده است توی چند دقیقه دیگه حتما ازشون دعوت میکنیم که جوین بشن رو کلاس اون رو شروع کنیم فقط من آدرس یوتیوب رو الان پینش میکنم اگر حالا قسمتی از کلایب رو از دست دادین یا اینکه نتونستین دنبال بکنین یا از ابتدا شروع نکردین میتونین یوتیوب از اول لایب رو نگاه کنین آقای احمد رضا میگن How's it going? Thank you, it's going fine. Thank you. دوستان از استاد قولی زاده دعوت میکنن که بشن رو کلاس رو شروع بکنیم خانم ام اس اف بله یوتیوب سیف شدن های خب استاد متاسفانه نتونستیم ارتباط بگیم یه بار دیگه ازش رو برشون ریکویست میفرستم oh, Hi How you doing? Thank you, doing fine. Uh, How are you sorry, doing? My apologies. Good. It just took me a while to join this live video. Sorry, let me take a deep breath. All right. I am not in a comfortable position at all, but all ears. How can I help you? What are we doing tonight? Mm, you know, in fact, me neither. Not in the right position now, but, mm, you know, this is the first session of our... Uh, key lives with you mm -hmm. uh, to the best of my knowledge you have already had a couple of clives right live sessions clive, clive. Yeah, yeah. live sessions yeah. right live classes so how have your clives live sessions been going so far have you yeah. had any feedback have you had students have you had people our viewers those yeah, you uh, know people it was watching this? have you had people give us some feedback or Yeah, it was great, but, uh, you know, at the beginning, just some problems, which we all hope to solve them, just, you know, internet matters. I know. Internet, con internet connection problem. Yeah. Hope everything go I hope everything goes well, and we can take advantage of, we can make the most of this live video. So, yeah. I have been told, and I have been told that in this live video, we're looking at the benefits of learning foreign and foreign languages, second languages, right? Yeah, right. So here we go. Ready to answer your questions one by one. Yeah. You know, the first question is, uh, why should we learn, a, uh, you know, other languages? Or why should we learn a foreign language? Why should we learn foreign languages? Well, for a number of reasons. I, am, I uh, assume... Those of you watching this live video are pretty well aware of the benefits of learning foreign languages. But before I begin to talk about the merits of learning foreign languages or uh, other languages, I'd like to make a distinction between ESL and EFL. I have had an 
I have had a number of live videos with my fellow teachers, with my colleagues, both in Iran and out of Iran, and I have tried to exp I have uh, tried to explain, and I've tried to help people figure out the difference between between EFL and ESL. Uh, mm -hmm. A few weeks back, a few months ago, I had a live video with my friend, uh, English Buster. Hope you have heard of it. I'm sorry because of too much noise in the background. My family is celebrating my wife's birthday, so. Uh, I, uh, in the lower level, everybody's celebrating, people are dancing, everybody's happy, people are clapping their hands, so I had to come up here. It's not comfortable at all. Anyways, uh, yes, uh, first off, I'd like to make a distinction between ESL and EFL. EFL stands for English as a foreign language, whereas ESL stands for English as a second language. Regrettably, unfortunately, we who no, we people who live in Iran don't get a chance to interact with native speakers of English. So English uh, is regarded as a foreign language in Iran and this society, whereas people in majority of the countries in the world get a chance to interact and communicate with native speakers of English. Or that aside, people in people in America, you know, America borders, I guess Mexico. Uh, and in Mexico, if I'm not mistaken, people speak Spanish. So Spanish is considered a second language to many people in the U.S. Many native speakers of English are required to choose a language to study when they uh, go to high school or when they go to college or graduate school or whatever. So Spanish is considered as a second language. That uh, allows people, that allows learners to... Uh, enjoy a number of approaches, whereas people, we in Iran, don't have a chance to enjoy, a no the, I mean, those approaches. Uh, the English spoken in Iran is a natural because people, English learners, have to work on and focus on textbooks, and textbooks are not designed for people uh, who learn English in Iran. Those books, those textbooks have been designed to help students who live in countries like the US, European countries, Canada, and many other countries to learn English. So the first thing that, that we need to consider, the first thing we need to take into account is that there is a big difference between the approaches we need to apply to deal with students of, students of EFL and ESL, all right? Yeah. But anyways, anyways, learning a language, so, so uh, let me just summarize things. We learn English as a foreign language, whereas people in many other countries learn English as a second language anyways. Uh, whoever say, uh, learns a second language, language benefits from a number of things. For instance, uh, I have been told that in English I sound more natural, I, I, I sound more sensible, I sound smarter, I sound more intelligent, and I do. I do. I have noticed that when I speak English, I totally change. English has had tremendous impacts and, and effects on how I behave, on how I communicate with other people. Uh, and it is amazing that English has, uh, has had other people, people around me, uh, treat me in a different, fa in a different fashion. Yeah. Not only that, English has helped me, you know, uh, get better career opportunities. I wouldn't need to say that. Everybody watching this is well aware of the fact that English opens up new opportunities. Uh, yeah. most, employer, most employers tend to employ bilingual professionals rather than monolingual professionals. You know, you speak a few languages. How many languages can you, uh, can you speak? How many languages can you speak English? <laughs> I think How three. Many lang three. You speak three languages. What are they? Mm -hmm. First, my mother tongue, then English, and then uh, a little bit Azadi. Azadi. Uh, how did you learn Azadi? Was is this your mother tongue or? Not my mother tongue, but uh, I know how. Uh, I really don't know how did I learn it. Yeah, you didn't. Really you didn't know how you learned. You know, you know, just I was in touch with some people. I see. I see. No, probably every nothing. 
probably probably sometime in the past you were looking for a job did ozari help you get a better career uh, opportunity did ozari benefit you so. at all you don't mm. think so right right no 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 do you know what because you've been living in the capital city where most people almost all people speak farsi uh, as their first or second language but if you have to live in a city like azerbaijan uh, Azerbaijan or Radio Sharqi if you have to live in a city uh, located in the northwest of Iran you would realize that only then would you realize oh boy Azari does help you get better opportunities uh, Azari facilitates how you live there and everything and English how long have you been learning English uh i think it's been more than uh 7 years i think You've been oh, learning English for Okay, you've been learning English for 7 years and I've been learning English for some 19 years. Uh has English broadened your horizons? Has it opened new opportunities? Has it helped you yeah. uh to have better job opportunities? Has it have any spe- has it have has it had so my bad. Uh it has had. Has it had any benefits? Has it had any tremendous effects on your mentality on how you think on your attitude and everything absolutely yes you know truth be told uh it opened a new life for me ah uh, sorry i don't Do you have my voice? Uh, I'm back. I'm back. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Where were we? We were talking about the benefits of learning uh, other languages in particular English. So since you began yeah. to learn English, ha- have you uh have you felt that have you felt like, you know, you're more confident? Uh you have uh better uh, career opportunities. You th- you have been think better. I told you earlier. that i have been told and i have realized it myself that since i began to learn english i have been you know feeling more confident i've been sounding more na- uh, i've been sounding more intelligent i've been sounding more sensible in in my own mother tongue for mm-hmm. see i probably assume that everybody okay everybody around me speaks farsi so i find it a bit more a bit harder and more difficult to impress other people Whereas when I speak English I feel like okay I have better tools and more powerful tools to impress other people it it is the main reason probably why I feel more uh confident and more powerful and stronger and even more intelligent in English what do you, what do you think do you think that English helps us uh, sound totally different from our mother tongue or uh you know do you sound uh, smarter in I, English I, Do you do you sound bit, smarter? Yeah. Do, yeah. Do you sound more confident? Yeah, English, yes. You know, I think is... maybe it's because because we can uh make new connections with other people. That's why we, you know, we feel more confident. I think so. Speaking of connection, you know, Let's face it whether we accept it or not whether we like it or not whether we would approve it or not we are living in a super interconnected world have you heard of the phrase the global village not a lot no not a lot in farsi you know dehkade jahani have you ever no. wondered or you haven't heard of it people you know one needs to wonder why this globe is called uh the globe a the global village first let me c- give you a clear definition of a village village is a small place is a small area where there is just a bunch of families living there it's as opposed to a big town as opposed to a metropolis in a village everybody knows each other if something happens okay just imagine you and i are living in a small village all right if something happens to me if something happens to my family or tonight like tonight you know we're celebrating my wife's birthday everybody will figure out or 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 I'll, or i'll be able to connect with everyone i'll be able to interact with everyone i'll be able to inv- invite everyone and everybody will be able to make it to this party in a village everybody knows each other they share the same values they share they share people 
residents of that villa sh share the same rights, they share the uh, same thoughts, probably the same culture, the same religion as well. Uh, because of that, this world is becoming a global village, okay? Mm -hmm. In, you know, this is getting more interconnected and more independent than ever. How? The only way through which this can happen is languages. And the best, the best way to make this happen is English. Learn English, you'll be able to connect. I'm not saying that you'll be able to interact, you'll be able to interact with everyone, but at least you'll be able to communicate with uh, most people in the world. Yes, I confess that not everybody understands English, not everybody knows English, but uh, you'll, be, uh, you'll be able to be above other people. You'll be able to be a head of shoulder, something like this. I can't remember that. It's on the tip of my tongue. Anyways, no one can deny the importance of learning languages, in particular English. English opens a whole bunch of new opportunities. Okay, I guess you got more questions written, uh, right? You know, here's this question. Does learning a language, okay, affect our personality? I would say to a large extent, yes. And I'll be posing this question to our viewers, people who are watching this, you know, we'll have to answer this question too. Sometime in the near future, I'll get you to open uh, those comments so people can ask their questions and answer this question. Mm -hmm. uh, does learning a language affect your personality? Yes, yes. It's striking to point out that before I began to learn English, I did I ever tell you that I used to be really shy? I used to be really embarrassed. I uh, really used to I used to be very low confident. I wasn't confident at all, especially if I uh, whenever I was asked to speak in public. Uh, back in 1380, I went to college and the very first time when uh, a this university professor wanted me to give a lecture to a large audience boy he was he was a disaster it turned out to be a disaster i was there on the platform preparing myself gearing up preparing myself to give a lecture my whole body i was sweating like a pig it wasn't hot i was stressed out because it was the because never before had i ever had a lecture in farsi so uh, I, I, I wouldn't have thought that someday I would have to give a lecture in English anyways. Uh, uh, when I began to teach English, step by step, I managed to boost my self-confidence and also self-esteem. It uh, helped me to be more confident because, you know, as a teacher, I need to, I need to teach a large number of people. I, I, I've had so many classes. I've, I've held workshops. So I've, I have had to speak to a large number of people. So, before I began to teach English, I wasn't confident at all. I, you know, I didn't have enough self-esteem. I didn't have faith in myself. I didn't have faith in my abilities and capabilities. And one thing that I, uh, you know, one thing that has a lot to do with me beginning to learn English has been my, you know, critical thinking skills. Before English, I couldn't think critically. You know, I, I, I would hear things, I would listen to people, and I would accept everything without even daring to question things. But English allowed me as a tool, as a super perfect, as a super strong tool, English helped me to be able to analyze things. So before I accept something, before, before I accept something, before I acknowledge something, I think about that critically. I view that very thing from different perspectives, from different angles, yeah. which means that I have gained perspective uh, through English. Yes, I would say to sum up in short, English has helped me to a great extent to be able to uh, kind of mold my personality for better. Obviously, it has had tremendously positive imp impacts on my personality, on the character and on everything, on my attitude also. So could you possibly name some uh, benefits of uh, learning a uh, foreign language? Uh, first off, I would say that it allows you to uh, get a job promotion no matter where you are, say, in Iran. My dad, here comes my dad. Here comes my dad. Okay. Bye-bye. This is my dad. Okay. No problem. Oh, it's really cold. It's really cold. My dad. 
That is really cold out there. That's really cold. He's going to catch a cold. Where was I? Uh, yes. Mm. At, at the very beginning of this live, uh, live session, I remember telling you that English is spoken as a foreign language in Iran. All right. Even, even in this culture, language plays English, plays a key role. Go get a job. Go look for a job. Employers, if there, are, if there is some employers who are able to speak other languages, and if there is a number of people who can't, be sure that chances are the first group, the former group, those people are going to get that job. Obviously, because English will allow you as a businessman, as, a, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, English will allow you uh, to expand your business. So you want to, what, what you want to do is to employ employees and workforce and uh, people working for you who are able to connect with people from other countries. So if you know English, you'll be employed. Chances are you'll get employed. If you're employed, if you, ha if you already have a job, chances are you'll get a promotion. You'll get a promotion, you'll get a raise. Another thing, another benefit, uh, another advantage of learning a foreign language, in particular English, is that we are all, I assume that most of us, including people who are watching this live, Clive, like you said, mm -hmm. uh, are genuine, original, genuine global citizens. What do I mean by this? From a virtual perspective, internet, I'm talking about the internet. We are citizens of, a, of this globe, uh, in this virtual world. We are internet uh, virtual citizens. So how would I be able to communicate with other people who live in China, in Europe, in Africa, in Canada, in Afghanistan, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia? How? How can we have some common grounds? We can't, we, we, we can have some common grounds, common grounds. How? Through the language. What's the language? English. So I am trying to stress, I'm, I'm trying to emphasize and I'm trying to put a lot of emphasis on the importance of learning other languages, especially English. I would say another advantage of learning other, another advantage of learning other languages would be, uh, mm, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? For now, I guess that, that, that's, that's it for now. Any other questions coming up? Uh, just, uh, you know, something, uh, you know, comes uh you know a thing comes to my mind how uh, can we increase our motivation to learn a foreign language i know awesome. when you i know when you have a purpose you when you're going to do something uh whether you want it or not you need to be motivated okay but because it's a, a hard way and many people are not motivated in it how can we increase our motivation? You have known me forever. You know, we've, you know, we met a long time ago. Yeah. So you know that when it comes to inspiring people, when it comes to boosting people's self-confidence, when it comes to encouraging people, when it comes to talking people into learning something, in special English, I have a knack, right? But just between you and me, I know the secret. I know how to encourage people. I know how to get people to speak the language, but between you and me, yeah. guys, people, hey guys, you, I'm, I'm addressing all of you. I am addressing all of you. Take notes. Believe it or not, I think of English as a gold mine. Let me repeat myself. I'm not going to rephrase it. I'm just going to repeat the same thing I said. I think of English as a gold mine. For the third time, I think of English, I see English, I think of English as a gold mine. Go to college, go to graduate school and study the, 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 ten, the 10 top, uh, you know, majors. Study medicine, study dentistry, study physics, study quantum physics, study biology, study pharmacology, study archaeology. I would not guarantee a job, but... Go study English. I'm not, you know, uh, 
I'm not exaggerating anything, nor am I trying to promise anybody the moon. There is some preconditions. My dad, here comes my dad. Okay, sorry. That was okay. Okay. Hello. Uh -huh. Hello, Good. I'm back. I'm back. Uh -huh. Everybody catch this, scope this out. I think of English as a gold mine, is that on me? Study English. Try your best to improve your knowledge. Watch movies. Read articles. You know, get yourself exposed to a real, natural, authentic environment. Work on your English. Work on your general knowledge. Uh, improve yourself. Pick yourself up. And I guarantee you'll be able to be well off. You'll be able to succeed in life, you'll be able to succeed in uh, education, you'll be able to succeed in business, and in short, you will be able to rock. English is go down. It's a key that's capable of opening all, uh, all locked doors. Trust me on this, everybody. Sp uh, learn English, boy, boy, boy. A wide range of opportunities will show up. I guarantee this. Thank you uh, so much. Uh, I hope I've been able to encourage everybody to go learn English more seriously. Everybody, learn English and build a better future for yourself, for your family members, for your siblings, for your next generations. For uh, It's a bold statement. It's a bold statement, but I would say... By learning English, we'll be able to make a better world. Really? Yes. I am making a claim. It's a bold statement. By learning English, from a general perspective, by learning other languages, in particular English, we'll be able to make a better world. Let's do it. Trust me on this. I hope I'm not going to get hanged for this. Okay. Thank you so okay. much. If you'd like, we can turn the comments on. So what time, what time is it? I think it's 10.35. Okay, okay. Let's turn on those comments and see if people have any questions. Hey, guys. Hello. Hello, hello. اگه بدونید من کجا نشستم چه وضعیتی دارم به خود یعنی به این واقعا باید به من مدال داد حالا بعدا شاید شاید بهتون نشون بدم کجا نشستم چون پایین میگم مهمونی هست اصلا یه وضعی من مجبور شدم زیر در واقع همین تبلت یه فوتبال دستی گذاشتم که صاف بمونه اصلا یه چیزی خب استا جان اگه ما نمیخوایم اذیت هم بشین تا همینجا هم برامون زمان گذاشتین خیلی ممنون از شما مرسی ما خیلی بیشتر از خواهش میکنم, خواهش میکنم. بچه ها اگر سوالی به طور کلی دارید که حالا اگر فرصت نشد اینجا جواب داده بشه حتما حتما دایرکت بدید نکته بعدی من جلسات بعد خیلی دارم میخواد راجب تاریخ صحبت کنیم تاریخ همون نکاتی که الان توی تور بوتا که دوازده به بعد داره تدریس میشه بچه ها میگن که چیکار کنیم انگلیسی من خیلی سریع توضیح بدم میدونم سوال بچه ها چیه چیکار کنیم که ت... لهجهمون بهتر بشه چیکار کنیم ایده پردازیمون قوی بشه چیکار کنیم اعتماد به نفس داشته باشیم من همه رو ریفر میدم به توربو اکسپرس که از شنبه شروع میشه که داخلش یعنی توربو تاک هم هست بریتیش اکسنت هم امریکن اکسنت من فورسم هم خیلی سریع خیلی سعی میکنم خودم کنترل کنم ولی واقعا نمیشه آی آی هیت هیستوری من قول بهتون میدم این هیستوری رو یه جوری بهتون یعنی تذریق کنم که عاشقش بشی مرسی 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 okay. سلام 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 you said that English is a key but forget we don't have good men <laughs> چه جالب بود میگن گفتین که انگلیسی به معنی کلیده ولی یادتون باشه خاطر خوبی از کلید نداری <laughs> قربونتون مرسی 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 یه چیزی بهتون بگم انگلیسی صحبت کردن خیلی ساده تر از اون چیزی که فکرشو میکنین الان بگید چون خودش انگلیسی بلده نه 
وقتی من بدون امکانات یاد گرفتم اینجوری صحبت کنم شما با این همه امکانات تو توربو تاک نمیدونم انگلیش تور با این همه پیج خیلی خیلی بهتر از من میتونید انگلیش صحبت کنید من بهتون قول میدم خسته نباشید میتونید بگین گود جاب ولی حالا ده... میگن معنی گود جاب نمیده ولی وقتی یه نفر کاری کاری رو خوب انجام میده میگه میخواد بگی دمت گرم ایول خوب بود میشه گفت گود جاب مرسی مرسی درود به شما آقا به نام گل <تصفيق> واقعا آفرین راست میگی من من موافقم اگه مردم دنیا بتونن با هم ارتباط برقرار کنن مثلا خیلی از سوء تفاهم به خوشو برطرف میشه گرم پانتومیم بچه ها میگن گرم با پانتومیم شروع کنیم اول تو بوتاک حتما تو بوتاک اول شروع کنید تو بوتاک تو ایکس تو بوتاک یا تو بوکس پرس اگه شرط چه دارید بعد برید سراغ گرم پانتومیم من خانم بهرامی سوالت دستم درمه شما میخونی؟ منم دارم میخونم اکثرا بچه ها شست میفرستن نمیدونی شست خوبی یا بده ما میگیم خوبه ما میگیم خوبه میگم نیتشون مرسی آقا محمد مرسی آقا محسن مرسی ما میگیم شست نیتشون خوبه have a good night مرسی you too مرسی 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 more power to your elbow آخه راست میگین یاد اون کلاس حکمت افتادیم بچه دوستان رفقای نازنین اگه سوالی دارید در کلاس آنلاین چون میگم نمیرسم همه رو جواب بدن حتما دایرکت بدیم به خودم انگلیش توربو میگم انگلیش توربو آیلز توربو به همین پیش کردن با شما دارم بالا بدید که من خودم اینجا بتونم جواب بدم آخه لایک لایک بک آها یعنی شست یعنی خیلی نایسید میسی شما خیلی نایسید میسی Could you please have some more, some more live videos حتما 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 خانم بهرامی یه لحظه کامنت رو من یه چیز خیلی مهم بگم چشم یه, یه, یه لحظه چون حواسم پرت بشه کلا من همینجوریش تمرکز ندارم <laughs> چشم بس بگم بچه یه نکته خیلی مهم بهتون بگم حالا امشب من فرصت نشد که این مطالب رو بهتون برسونم از جلسات هفته از هفته بعد آقا من میدونم که انگلیسی شما خوبه خیلی تو متوجه میشید ولی همین رو شاید بخواید بگید نتونید چرا چون ادبیات منه حالا چیکار میکنیم من موضوعاتی که قراره تو جلسه پیشرفته هفته بعد بگم رو دستبندی میکنم مثلا مثلا میخوام راجع به مزایای ورزش صحبت کنیم مثلا مزایای ورزش چیه یا مزایای مزایای مزای ورزش یک تندرستی سلامتی س... ریفرش فرش بودن پوست و یک مسئله مسئله دیگه خب من اینها رو براتون استوری میکنم که بدونید به طور کلی قضیه یه این لایف به چه صورت باید باشه اوکی شما که میدونم انگلیسیتون خوبه ولی حس میکنید نمیتونید صحبت کنید به خاطر انگلیسی نیست به خاطر نداشتن اطلاعات عمومیه اوکی یعنی ما محتوای صحبت کردن نداریم این محتوا رو چیکار میتونیم بکنیم تو همه لایف ها سعی میکنیم موضوعات رو طبقه بندی کنیم راجع به موضوعات طبقه بندی شده با هم صحبت کنیم بزنیم سرکل هم دیگه خوبه یه خواهیم برمی؟ آره اتباقا چقدر بهتر حالا توی این یک هفته هم بچه ها فرصت دارن که برن حالا آره. اگه میخوان در موضوعش تحقیق کنن فکر کنن و قطعا کلماتی که شما هم قرار اینجا توی کلایف استفاده کنین شاید شنیده باشن اوکی. اوکی. خیلی بله. من نزدیک ترین چیزی که اینجا میبینم فوتبال دستیه بچه ها فقط میتونن یه کلمه رو یا موضوع تایف بکنن آره یه موضوعی که مرد نظرتونه رو بگی که میگم با همدیگه ایده پرازی کنیم و راجبه صحبت کنیم به صورت سبب شده مرسی او محمد گول مرسی 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 خب بچه موزه خواستی مرد نظرتون هست سلام سلام خواستی ببینید رو مکالمه تو روز مرده که همه جا هست مثل خود تو بوتاک میخوایم اینجا یه چیزی ما برای این داستان ها باشه شاپینگ خوبه بهتاش خوبه بهتاش تو هستم بهتاش تو هستم در مورد فضا دور دانشگاه رو هم هستم فری uh, الیکشن رو ب... اصلا بد جوری هستم لا خیلی خوبه مذاکره اوه اوه هستم مانیو که اصلا در صدر همشون تاریخ هم که دیگه خانم عوی میدونه فیوریت خودمه کووید 19 هم خوبه الیکشن هم خوبه دی انوینگ چرا انوینگ کرونا ویروس هم خوبه 
همون تاریخی و ورزش آقا میخوایی یه چیزی رو انتخاب بکنیم من راجبه ایش صحبت کنیم نصف فالو رو میپرن میخوایی راجبه همون چیز صحبت کنیم راجبه ورزش ورزش و مزایاش چرا واقعا مردم ورزش نمیکنن؟ مردم آیا قبلا ورزش میکردن الان دیگه ورزش نمیکنن؟ آیا مردم در آینده ورزش خواهند کرد؟ اتفاقا سوله آیلز هم هستن. چیکار کنیم که مردم ترغیب بشن ورزش کنن؟ اوکی خوبه اینا؟ خوبه. خب پس هفته بعد راجع به ورزش صحبت میکنیم از الان من سعی میکنم روزی مثلا چند تا از عبارت خوش رو استوری کنم تو پیج خودم و توربو که آماده آمادگی ذهنی داشته باشیم برای پنج شنبه. مس خوبه؟ آلیه من دارم اینجا قندیل میبندم آخه خب آساد وقتتون رو نمگی مرسی آلی مرسی. بود آلی. مرسی 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 خدا مرسی خب بشه ها پس موضوعمون شد ورزش حالا یه فرصتی میشه هم برای شما که در موردش تحقیق بکنین فکر بکنین اگر دوست دارین یه سری مطالب رو بنویسین مهم نیسته حالا این که بخواد فارسی باشه انگلیسی باشه مهم نیست که شما بتونین در موردش فکر بکنین بعدش هم که ایشالا لایب رو خواهیم داشت رو خواهیم داشت تو کلی هم استفاده میکنین فقط من کوشن تقم پر شد یخمک میخوام Okay. Uh, فقط کوشن تب هم پر شد که استاد تون صحبت میکنن سری صحبت میکنن بشه ها پنج شنبه ساعت ده شب uh, ما کلایو ادوانست رو داریم که کلا انگلیسی صحبت میشه حالا برای بچه هستش که قبلا زبان رو uh, خوندن در واقع حالا یه چند ترمی یا به خود استاد یا حالا جاهای دیگه uh, اگر اگر حالا میخواین ساعت پایین تر باشه یا کمی مبتدی تر باشه یک شنبه ها و چهار شنبه ها ساعت ده با خانم خدا بندلو حتما این لایف ها رو دنبال بکنید کویز باز متشکرم متشکرم از این لطفتون اگه سوالی ندارین من هم برم شبتون بخیر باشه اگر سوالی بود یا اینکه در مورد دوره هم سوال داشتین حتما حتما دایرکت بدین فرق نمیکنه یا به آیاس توربو یا به خود انگلش توربو مرسی شبتون بخیر راستی یادم رفت بگم بچه تمام که لایف هامون تمام لایف ها یوتیوب ذخیره میشن که اول براتون پین کردم تمام لایف ها مثل که قسمت نیستش برم بچه ها لایف همون همه ساعت ده شب هستن یه بار دیگه چشم برنامه رو میگم یک شنبه چهار شنبه ها مبتدی تا متوسطه با خانم خدا بندلو بچه ها ساعت های لایف ها همشون همشون استوری میشن داشتم برنامه لایف ها میگذارم یک شنبه چهار شنبه ساعت ده شب مبتدی تا متوسطه دو شنبه ها پونسد و چهار رو داریم با آقای عزیزی و سه شنبه ها گرامر داریم بچه ها فکر هم یه جور اشتباه گفتم ببخشید دو شنبه ها گرامر داریم سه شنبه ها پونسد و چهار رو داریم پنج شنبه ها هم با اصاد قولی زاده ادوانست فوق پیش رفته که کامل انگلیسی صحبت میشه مرسی مشکرم حتما لایب اونو به دوستاتونم معرفی بکنیم شبتون بخیر